how's it going everybody welcome to this video i want to talk about the epiphany bridge script this is kind of like a podcast style video no fancy cuts no nothing like that just want to talk about the epiphany bridge script because it's something that took me a long time to really understand um and i want you to not take as long of a time to understand this this important thing super important thing about making money online and making sales. And this is something that was created by Russell Brunson, and he's really, really great at any time you open one of his books to a random page, you come away with a stronger understanding of your next step that you need to take. So I want to do that for you in this video. Once you have a stronger understanding of the next step that you have to take in your business and in your copywriting journey, right? And I am trying to convince you that you have to know how to tell a story. Um, I basically send myself every single ad that I see on Instagram. So I have a huge list of ads, even if they suck, even if they're in Russian, even if they, you know, aren't for me. Um, I get ads about uranium mining. I get ads about, you know, and, and the reason I get all these ads is because I interact with the random ads because I'm fascinated about ads, right? I love, I love ads. I love, uh, well, I don't even love ads. I just love, I'm fascinated about which ads get sent to me, right? So I send them to myself. So this is something I've been doing with, um, business owners lately is helping them build out this, this little, uh, you know, this story right here. A lot of them, have no idea that they even have a story like that. So what, I, what I've been doing was showing people how they can make one of these stories for themselves. And um, this is so simple that I just, I want to make it as simple as possible for you. So what I did was I went to ClickBank and I looked at the top affiliate offers and I looked at the, the, you know, landing page, the sales page, and I noticed they all had something in common. They started with a few different frameworks. The problem agitate solution framework is one of them, but they also used um, the, they used, what's it called? Um, they, they became relatable to the audience. So they always started with a question like, uh, have you ever felt this way? And then if yes, they continue and they say, me too. And a lot of people have felt that way too. They didn't know what to do. They, you know, for weight loss, um, for diets, for exercise, they didn't know how to do any of this stuff for business. It's, you know, it's different stuff too. Um, and, um, sorry, my video <laughs> skills are terrible today. So, uh, you know, they all follow the same framework. So why can't you just copy that framework? It's really, really easy to copy the framework and it's not like it's copyrighted or anything. Um, anyone can use these frameworks. And I think people are just afraid to apply it to their own business because they don't think that they have a story, but I guarantee it doesn't matter how old or young you are. This is how a story travels. You have to start with the backstory and the de desires, external, internal desires, and then talk about the journey and the wall that you hit, right? Um, and the problem I've been having is, okay, so I have my own product linked in the description, and how do I, you know, talk about the wall when I, like, I created the product? So the way you do that is you say, okay, I was looking for this product and it didn't exist, so I made it myself. That's how you, that's how you tell that part of the story, right? Uh, this part of the story right here. And then the epiphany is when you say, yeah, so now that I discovered the, the thing that broke me through the wall, I have the, the epiphany and the new idea or the new opportunity. And then here's the plan that takes me to, you know, the conflict right here. But the new opportunity, the new thing I developed, jumped me over the conflict, and I got both of these things, transformation and achievement. And, and then basically, then you turn around, and you help people who are here get to where you were over here. So that's what I'm trying to do with these videos. I just, I, you know, 
I know they're hard to watch because I have not really, they're unscripted and I'm just talking as I go along. And my voice is terrible right now because I, yeah, just, I've had a rough morning, but I want to explain these things uh, and get better at explaining these things. So I hope you got something from this. Um, 